Hey, what's it been like? Nine months? I've been gone for like a really long time. Stuff has happened since I've gone. Christmas. I finally have some new weapons. Like, I didn't really want to make a weapons video, but I'm kind of stuck making those now because I don't really have anything else to do. I tried thinking of stuff, like, none of it worked out. I tried going on a long walk as a joke, and I actually got lost. So a big thunderstorm started coming in, and then people started yelling for me. And I was, like, two miles away, and they couldn't hear me back, so that wasn't really fun. So I didn't really upload that or edit it. But I have some weapons. Some of them are really good, some of them are really crappy. Some of them have been lying around since last year, but they never got in the video. Some of them are new. Some of them are really bad. Some of them are pretty good. Some of them took a long time. Some of them were easy to make. So all the weapons are in the back of that, but so I'm just not going to show you them. This is where all the action happens. I don't know how I'm going to just show you how much more. Yeah, we got stock down here. Two in there, two in there, one in here. Not going to drink it. Um, I don't know how I'm going to film and drive at the same time. I'm probably just going to like sit the camera down or something. Maybe sit it right there. It's going to be really loud, so I'm just going to have it muted. It's going to be really complicated. Hey, Future BJ here. Um, I forgot to mention this earlier in the video, but we're going to a different spot to film the thing, so, yeah. We're, we're really entering. I'm going to get the tripod. Number 15. He gets hit by car because he doesn't know how to drive. And we're here. Just big sandy spot. There was actually a shed right here, but it burned down. There's a burn pile over that way, and some sparks got out and got in the woods. That's why it's so dark down that way. It's all burnt. I, I, I tried to put it out, or I helped. I, a bunch of old crap in here. We got all the good stuff out. Logs, there's some pipes. I'm sure I could salvage this for some weapons. Broken pots. Some of these I broke, because there's pipes. All these smashed paint cans. There's some nice stuff in here. House insulation. <coughs> Pot. There was a cast iron still skillet. There's also some other stuff here. Tree sand. Like, this actually was attached to the shed. It, like, went up to the roof. Like, I was going to make a video here and, like, go inside the shed. And then, like, a few days later, it burned. Deer track. That's fun. So I could decide if we should start with the simplest one or the crappiest one. I decided to go with the simplest one. This is just like a wood hammer made from like either fence posts or gardening stakes. Pretty sure it's for like growing tomato vines on. Um, so it's, I think it's all from one piece. There are tips on these but I cut it off. So this summer I was making wooden swords and one time I flipped one upside down and it looked like a hammer. So, I think I cut one off and tried that, but then it didn't really work. Like, there, there weren't these spacers. This is actually four pieces, a s slab, another slab, and, like, these two pieces. They're wood glued in. They're actually, this is the second time they've been put in. Because some kid was hitting rocks with it, and, you know, it just flew out. But it held up against a couple of big chunks. He, he wasn't, like, just whacking a rock. He was, like, playing baseball. I do not know how to swing a bat. Uh, it's really dry now and light. Like, you can just be quick. It's not intended to be a weapon. It's just more, if I can see, I can make, like, a croquet mallet or something. Uh, now let's go to the crappiest one. Now, this is, like, one of those weapons I'm ashamed of. Like, the bike peg on a stick. This is, like, this thing's older brother. Well, technically younger, but it's bigger. So, I had a machete blade. It was really dull and crappy. I didn't know what to do with it. So, I put it on a stick. It's poorly put on. I was trying to put, I was trying to make rip, nail rivets, and it messed up. Like it's held together with nails, tape, and this wire. The wire's kind of useless. Like there's no much wiggle in it, but it's unbalanced. It's bent, dull. I think I tried sharpening it on a little bit. I'm gonna have to move camera positions because the sun is just like right on me. All right, it's. I don't know if you can break a bottle or not. I don't even know where the handle came from. It's broke at the bottom. 
Uh, I'm not really happy about this weapon or the way it came out. But it's a new weapon, so I guess we'll test it. Next up, this one's about as old as Homemade Weapons Part 3, but it was like behind the shed so it didn't get mentioned. It's an old T-ball bat with just a few sh sheet metal screws in it. Not a very good weapon. It can't even break a brick. It actually bent a little bit from breaking a brick. Uh, one of the screws fell out right there. Uh, the handle was getting all messed up, so I put some duct tape over it. Just a light layer. I mean, it is useful because, you know, it's a bat. It's not that great. Really small. It's like my first bat ever. It's this hammer right there. So that's this new name. I don't have much to say about it. It's kind of boring. I don't think we'll break a bottle with this, but I'm sure I can find something in that pile to break with. Okay, so next up. This one isn't really a weapon I made, but I thought it kind of counted. Like, I had to make it, but they intend you to make it if you want to use it. It's just a fishing spear. Like, you you get the head. You have to go buy a shaft. This is, like, for a rake. Prongs bend. It really counts as a homemade weapon, but it was there. So I got it. So this is something actually useful I made. It's really simple, but it could it could work. It could either be a tire thumper or, like, a nightstick. Really nice. I put a lanyard down here with some paracord. Like, I drilled a hole, went through. This is the only lanyard hole I ever had that worked. Cord's too big. I didn't really know how to tie a knot, so I wrapped it at the end of duct tape because I knew I'd probably never change it. You can either hang it from that or you can put it around your hand. I mean, I would put it around my hand so it wouldn't be in the way. We're probably going to hit a ball with this, even though it's not going to like, cut into it or anything. Uh, we've getting, got two weapons left. Three! Okay, so this next one was hiding behind something that I didn't see it. Um... Last video, someone told me that they wanted to make me a, they wanted me to make them a barbed wire weapon or barbed, and I had this one weapon hanging around, with just some nails in it, so I put barbed wire around it. Uh, it's an old axe handle, same case as the nightstick. It just broke off from work. It was already a pretty crappy weapon because the nails would wiggle, and then I wrapped barbed wire around it, so now the nails can't go as far, and it cushions it. Held in with two. Like crappy nails that bend easily. A little bit of duct tape. It's not my favorite weapon at all, but still one of the barbed wire weapons, so there you go. I don't really have much history with it. Uh, probably the same case with that too hickory or oak for the handle. Final melee weapon. So a little backstory with this one. It was shortly made after the Naganov, like the camouflage, not Naganov, a cannabo, like that from the last video. It was made with like camouflage duct tape and a wheelbarrow handle not what was it post hole digger handle that's what it was and I had a bunch of broken screws in it it wasn't what I wanted that wasn't what I was going for so I went and got some sheet metal screws and another handle and now we have this is this is the functional Naganata it took about I'd say an hour or so to get all the screws in I think there's like let me count them It is 59 studs. I thought it was 39. That's a lot of studs. And when you spin it, like, they're all off angle because they would kind of go through and they would, like, interact with each other. So they're, like, different levels. So when you spin it, get that out of the camera, they all, like, shift. Pretty neat. That's one thing I've always done with it. Really long. Got a lot of reach with this one. One thing I used to do is just, like, swing it like a baseball bat. Hello. Some electrical tape. I can get you can get a good grip with electrical tape if it's like dry outside, but once rain gets on it, it's just like it just slips. It's really dirty. It's been laying in a shed for about a year. It's old. I made it shortly after the weapons three. I've never hit a bottle with it. I don't think. Maybe I have. Yeah, I have. There's not really much to say about these weapons. Like the last ones had some good stuff going on. These do not. Maybe it's just because. The last video was like 30 minutes, so I was doing something. And there was only 5 minutes of weapon testing. And we do have one more melee weapon, but I'm going to save it for last, because it's pretty impressive for my standards. So I think it's hickory. Again, I don't know, that's what they like to make hang handles out of. I don't blame them, it's hardwood. Uh, this one is not a melee weapon, but I'll show it. Alright, so in the last video, we had... Oh, I think... Yeah, we had three shields. And they're all broken now, except for the stop sign, but like the... Handles are all wiggly and stuff. Here it is. The, our new shield. It's really nice, actually. It's plywood. It's taken a good few hits. I used a... I went and bought a gate handle to put on here. There's, like, some cloth right here for padding. Because when something hits this, it vibrates a bunch. And it can really sting your arm. 
Uh, it was just a piece of plywood. I don't know if I trimmed any off or not besides the corners. I like, just wanted to make it round look nice. Pretty thick plywood. Parts bent a little bit because I had to shape it to make it fit my hand. There's a belt right here. Part of a belt. This thing's gone around before. I think I've had it on other weapons. I think it was from the wooden shield I had. That was really heavy and impractical. I destroyed it and put this on it. And that's this weapon. Or shield. It's really loud. Uh, I think it's been hit with machetes before and that that gave in a little bit. It's chipping off as I speak. Um, you could punch with it like the wooden shield but it's not really recommended. Covers my whole face. Hooray. This one isn't really intended for you. She's just kind of like to show what I can do. You know, I'm acting like I made a new thing. Here it is. Big hammer. Got a bunch of duct tape going tight. This is a full size sledgehammer handle. Now, this is all cracked and breaking. You can see the wood glue in there if you look really close. I don't know if my camera can pick it up. Maybe. I picked a bad piece of wood. There's a little bit of tape right here. And they're all screwed in. There's a screw at the top going in. Screw here, screw here. Like, there's one screw just holding this part right there. Cracking, it's pretty much just an oversized croquet mallet. It's really big, but it's not that heavy, to be honest. Got it in my head when, like, I was in class. I a bad grade on what we were doing because it took a while to think about this. I want to see what I can do. Uh, we're going to test the barbed wire stick thing. And I guess we can either the big hammer or the bat. I think I'll go with the big hammer. I want to see what I can do. Pizza pie! Alright, uh, just getting the camera angle nice and straight. We want this to be a good weapon test. It's not straight. Here at B2XZ, we strive for efficiency, uploading every nine months for your pleasure. So, we'll start off with the barbed wire on a stick. I hope this doesn't hit my camera. Not the stick, the water. Uh, in theory, it should go in and then get snagged by the barbed wire. You go out of the way. You go out of the way. You go out of the way. Alright, this is actually a really crappy angle. Alright, here we go. Uh, should I hit this way or that way? I'll, I'll hit it this way. I think we missed. Take two. Hey, it didn't get snagged. Uh, it did pretty good. It cut it in half. Didn't cut it in half. It demolished it. Pretty good for a weapon I didn't have much faith in. I'm doing it right here from a range. I grazed it. It wasn't perfectly centered, but it poked it. Hit it again while the w it still has some water in it. Try this again. There we go. Nice, nice poke. Uh, yeah, if you're a fish, I'm sorry. Is, as 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 eleven year old BJ would say, like a muppet. Uh, once again, I just kind of ripped it. I mean, it's barbed. Uh, next up, I forgot which weapons I want to do. We're gonna do the night. We're gonna do the. I thought of a new name for this in my head, but I'll I'll save it for the editing. Uh, I'm gonna get my little blast shield on because I'm sick of getting wet. Alright, three, two, one. Three, two, one. Well, it exploded and got all over me. My shield didn't work, probably because I moved. Uh, yeah, I actually got a nick in it. It was nice and smooth, and now there's a splinter. It did as I expected. It hit so hard, it, like, the water had nowhere else to go but to shoot out the bottom. That's what they do a lot with the blunt weapons.
next up is the hammer. Big hammer. I've actually never hit anything with this. It knocked the cap out of it. And there's no water in here, so this is a problem. Kind of like cap flew off. Uh, I was hoping that would cut it. My little trick didn't work. Alright, we're about to test the Naganata. We're about to ruin the Naganata. Uh, it will not survive this, I know for a fact. This is a solid brick. Say hi to Steve Irwin for me. Oh, it bent. And it rattles now. I don't even think it chipped it. I'm hoping it would at least chip it. Go crazy. It's actually chipping it. It's cutting the brick. There it goes. That was an epic gamer moment. Another thing that was to break a brick. It's got a wet handle, so it's slippy. Touchdown! Ow. Anything else? Anything else we can test? There's a bucket over here. This is exciting. I could do all the weapons with this. I'm just gonna hit it. Messy, probably messed up the nails. So I'm just testing something. I keep feeling a wiggle, I think. Confirming whack. Now we're going to do a special test just for the club. This is found footage. Mentally insane child has breakdown and destroys bucket. That'll be the title. Let me go get my stuff. This may. Here it is, not helping. I had a headache about 20 minutes ago. I guess it's gone now. I'm proud of myself. My dad wouldn't. Probably better hide this. It's probably you know, a very valuable World War II bucket. Uh, did this deflect any debris? No. Uh, this thing. It's real nicked up. I'm just feeling it with my finger. It's all nicked up in black, but we know it works. It took, it took a good beating. I expect that from Hickory. I don't know how long this video is going to be, but it's been a lifetime for me. It's almost sunset. Um, I'm just going to go put the stuff up. But I'm going to record it to make you mad. Garbage cleanup. Lightning round. Uh, my camera's dying, so... I'm going to just drive back to the house without recording. Well, that's all for today. And probably for the next few years or so. Uh, had a good while. I'll probably have a good time editing the video. 
what he's trying to say is he hopes you enjoyed the video and he'll probably see you in a couple months or so when he has the courage to make another video. But right now, he is very tired of editing stuff. As always, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. I'm not even going to question what that is. It's probably meth.